I was mad. At myself. At Pervora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you, the way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes himself from deputy chief to lieutenant just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me, he loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA. He gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him though. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. If I were you, I'd go to my desk and at least pretend I was doing as I've been told. Right. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fool guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed, and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone. It's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I can. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They killed themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy, and, and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman, and that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman, and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. How's anyone supposed to find anything from here? It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room, getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They say she kicked out her husband a couple of years ago. Been taking care of her blind kid on her own. No wonder she's edgy. Anyways, she's talking to an eyewitness in the interrogation room. 
Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place. But she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. Never been to a police station before. Exciting stuff. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. Hey, how do you spell psycho? Oh yeah, now I remember. Emotionally disturbed person. I'm not saying another goddamn thing before I see my lawyer. Go away, I'm busy. Some of us have work to do. Nice going, Payne. Good job. If it was still summer, you'd be a dead man right about now. Mama, you better stop praying. We won't be on green summer, Payne. Now it's passed on to a rendezvous with his mistress. The harlot. She is no lady. Oh, good, good, Jack, my son. Hey, we're watching Jack, that. Jack, my favorite Get out of the way, Payne. You have done right in turning to me in this distasteful affair. Mama, tell me what to do. Hey! We were watching that, asshole. Say our name from disgrace. Yep. Time. Stop. Jack, my boy. Name. Precious. Holy, it must be preserved at any cost. Anyone who threatens it is our mortal enemy. They must be stopped by any means. The honor of the whole of York is at stake. Yes, Mama. Yes, good, good. By any means. Even murder is a rightful course. She is a criminal. Yes, Mama. I am so proud of you, Jack, my precious son. You will lift our name to new glorious heights. Truly, you are a lord. Yes, Mama. Good, good. Do what is necessary. Now go to the harlot's house. Ride like the wind. Fight proud, my son. Yes, Mama. Good, good.
do you expect anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Prasad? It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do? Positioning. Like that's what the job's about. Hey, Payne. Max Payne. Now there's a catchy name for you. it's this hot in here? It's fallen raining outside. Has someone messed up the air conditioning again? I thought about walking away, vanishing into the night. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number, in case you ever get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night. For some privacy, I'll be out when it's done. Ten four. Repeat. Can you verify that? Sorry, detective. Can't help you now. I need to take this call. Ten four. Repeat. Can you verify that? Stand by. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Here, I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. Your femme fatales down the corridor to your left. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked up. You can say that again. I mean, there I am, driving a stolen car on my way to the lot to get a trunk full of illegal guns to sell. Mind you, I don't have them yet. At this point, apart from the wheels under me, I'm a law-abiding citizen. At this point, I'm still just on my way to get the guns, okay? So the cops pull me over. That's fucked up. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm thinking when they, when they pull me over. This is fucked up. And you know what? They couldn't care less about the car. No shit! That's the irony! It's some kind of if-you-drink-don't-drive campaign. All they want is for me to blow into a breathalyzer. No shit! I kid you not! So with a breath of relief, I take the damn test. And just when it's over, when they're just about to wave me on my way... Uh-oh. The cop's eyes zoom in and stop on something sticking out from under the seat. Game over! What? A fucking gun! I didn't even know it was there. Must have belonged to the owner. Unlicensed. Turns out it's a murder weapon. How fucked up is that? It's pretty fucked up. So, uh, what are you in here for? Oh, me? A DUI. Oh, that's fucked up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Not again. Jesus, not again. Just when we got rid of the stench of the last time. Petersburg, do I look like a cleaner to you? <laughs> You're doing fine. Breathe through your mouth. Sorry. Sorry, I can't help it. It's the visions in my head. So ugly. <laughs> you gotta let them out so I can see. They look just like that. You're all gonna die. You know that? It's the clearest day. You can see it there. You're all gonna die. I've been cleaning up after this scale all night. Looks bad. Yeah, yeah, it smells even worse. You're all gonna die. <laughs> I wish. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the inner circle was mentioned. As the lady says, we're all gonna die. And puke ain't pretty. But it never lies. I mean, sure, I'd be okay if we had Hannibal Lecter. Can I use your phone? There's one through the door behind you. You can use that. To serve and protect New York City from barf. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. What's up, Hannibal? Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. Nothing to see here. Move along. Nothing to see. There's nothing more boring than sitting behind this desk. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD, drop your gun! Ah! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. 
I knew where to find her. Have no fear, Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor, drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them, even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree.